This tutorial is brought to you by flbeattutorials.com. In this tutorial, we want to take a look at the FPC uh, that's in FL Studio. And basically, this is a drum plugin that allows you uh, to assign drums to different pads and uh, basically keep all your drum MIDI in one channel. As you can see right here, I have uh, some MIDI and it's all in one channel and this is all drums and uh, this makes it nice because you only got to use one channel for drums instead of having your kick, your clap, your hat and your snare on separate channels. This way you can have them all in one. So uh, I'll let you hear the default kit in the FPC uh, so you can hear what that sounds like. So we just got some uh, basic MIDI in here. Uh, I actually pulled this uh, simple score from the FPC MIDI files, which we'll cover in our next tutorial. Uh, but in this one, we're just gonna show you how to assign your own samples to the FPC and uh, save that as a preset. So um, if you haven't opened it yet, you can do that by going to channels, add one, FPC. Okay, so now I got the plug in here. I'm going to copy my MIDI down just so you can hear it. All right, so we got that there. Um, and if I play that. Same thing as before, but now you can see the pads light up as the MIDI is being played. And you can click on these to sample them. Okay, so this plugin's great, but now I want to add in my own samples and get a, a better sounding hip hop kit in. So I've got Windows Explorer here. I'm going to open that up and I'm just going to drag my samples from this window into the FPC pads. Now, uh, in this case, I'm using this MIDI. So I want to try to map my drums the same way that, that they currently are in here, but with my samples. For example, this right here is the kick on the FPC. So I want to drag my kick to that same pad. I bring that in. All right. And um, so let's see what we got here. Our closed hat. So I'm going to go to my closed hat here. It's just called hi hat one. Bring that in. I'm going to leave the tambourine, leave the pedal hi hat. I'm going to change the open hi-hat to one of my samples. So I'll bring that in. Snare 2, I will make that a clap for mine. Snare 1, I'll bring in my snare sample. Tom, leave it. Another Tom, leave it. Leave all those. Leave the bell ride, leave the light ride, leave the light crash, change my heavy crash to my sample. All right, so I've assigned all my samples in here. So now let's take a listen to that same MIDI that we had before, but with my samples. Okay, let's listen to it before uh, we added our own samples here. So as you can see, this plugin can be really useful. And, uh, you know, I think it's uh, the only downfall right now is that uh, the default kit in it isn't that great. You can buy additional kits. Uh, from image line for this or you can load in your own and save them as a preset uh, which I like to do so I have my drums in the FPC now so I just want to save this as my own preset kit so I'll just save it uh, save preset as I must have clicked the wrong thing here go back in here save preset as and I'll uh, just call this the MMP kit. So 
But now when I go to my presets, you will notice that the MMP kit is now one of the options. All right, that does it for this one. Thanks for checking it out. We'll talk to you soon.